Hello, my name is Jim Hornston and I am the first year advisor for the Department of Economics. I wanted to introduce myself to you just very briefly. I'm out here on the Lakeville uh, because I think it's a, a neat way of capturing the essence of what first year advising is all about. Uh, for example, behind me is the Kellogg Global Hub. Uh, this is the home for the Economics Department. Uh, so that's where I live and my colleagues and, and we can give you lots of advice about economics courses to take. Uh, but there's so much more than just that, right? So from this perspective, you can look around, you can see the, uh, the Bean in School, right? So we have musicians here, you can see the athletic facilities, we have uh, uh, athletes here, right? You can see the lake, the great unknown, right? Lots of mysteries out there. Uh, you can see all the rocks and all sorts of people in hammocks, right? All sorts of people uh, with interesting backgrounds, with all sorts of different aspirations. Um, and so when you come in for advising, we sit down and we try to figure out, okay, well, who are you and what's your background and what do you want to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? Right? Uh, so, you know, Chicago, do we want to take advantage of the jobs or internships or connections we have down there? Uh, what about the rest of the campus? Uh, it, uh, would it be good for you to, uh, to do some sort of complementary program? So maybe you want to do business institutions or a Kellogg certificate or you want to double major with, with math or computer science or statistics or classics or anything across the university, right? And so we'll sit down and have a conversation. Uh, you know, I, when I think about my connection to Northwestern, uh, I came here for graduate school and I lived here in the 90s. I went to see the Cats in the Rose Bowl. Uh, before that, I was a small town kid from Minnesota. I remember some lean times growing up. Uh, but I ended up going to college. I was a runner back then and I started off, let's see, I had a, I, I, I had a scholarship through chemistry and I started doing physics, but then I changed to math and then I was running, but I had a bunch of stress fractures. So I, I read through the catalog and I thought that economics sounded the most interesting. So I, I declared an econ double major with, with math and sort of went from there and ultimately ended up here. So let's, let's get you to the places that you want to go. Right, and, and uh, we'll try to give you the best advice we can. So again, I'm Jim Ornston. Uh, we hope you'll come in. Now, when I was just on the Lakeville, I mentioned things like athletics and music, right? So if you come in for a meeting, and we probably have to do a Zoom meeting like this, we can talk about things like uh, uh, how can we make uh, economics fit uh, with, your, uh, with your schedule, right? So you might be a dual degree person. Uh, you might be an athlete with a you know, particular busy season. Uh, you might have lots of uh, extracurriculars or activities and uh, one thing nice about economics is that uh, it's a very flexible major. You can take a lot of courses in a lot of different orders and we can talk about things like that. Uh, you know, what are your AP credits? Uh, uh, should you start with macro or micro? Should you retake it if maybe you've seen a little bit of it before? Uh, should you take micro theory in the fall? What's a good order to take the core courses in? What are some good 300 level courses for your desired career path? Right, and so those are the, the, the sorts of things we can talk about. Uh, come on in, we'll have a chat. Uh, we hope to see you soon. <laughs> Take care, bye-bye.